What's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Welcome to the Flow T Cast. My name is Steven Maxlow, and today I wanted to do a little deck profile video for you guys. Uh, Justin Kulas of Team Scythe got top 64 up in Dallas Regionals. Um, congratulations to him on a pretty solid finish, and he took a pretty not talked about list but kind of was like i heard some rumbles about reshi rum going in but it was all turbo dark but um leading up to event it was and uh he took this sick list um i don't want to say it's a vanilla list because like there's some cute little text in here and stuff um for example uh cobalion gx um with cobalion gx what you can do is you can a you're behind a little bit. You just Iron Rule GX. They can't attack the next turn unless they play Ranger, right? And uh, I don't want the numbers. Or I don't know the numbers on how many people played Pokemon Ranger in their list. But anyway, that's not necessarily what it's here for. What it's here for is its ability, Metal Symbol, which states that for each Pokemon that has a Metal Energy attached to it, it cannot be affected by special conditions. Obviously, this deck does not play metal energies. What it does play is double dragon energy. And with double dragon energies, what you can do is it, when it's attached to a dragon, it counts as anyone, any kind of energy. So, say, a uh, new Master 69 up in your plan against decides he wants to try and hypnotoxic laser you for a dead NGX. Well, no thank you, boy. We got a double dragon on your. Reshi Ram and Zekrom, or your Arceus Dialga Palkia, you cannot be affected by special conditions. So that's pretty sick. Like, you know, that's a pretty sick inclusion. Um, he also ran uh, Ultra Necrozma. And this is cool because you can either close out a game or you're behind on prizes and you need to, you know, fall back. So they're down to two or one prize, two to one prizes, and you're like, oh crap. So you end them with two or one and smack them with a luster downfall on like a shaman lele or whatever, Wh whatever. But also silent lab was a big deal at this tournament and, um, ultra burst gets around that obviously. Um, uh, well not ultra burst, but ultra necrozma can get around that. Cause it's like, you play silent lab. All right, sweet. I just slap a double dragon energy and, you know, go to town whenever, since the ability is shut off. So that was a pretty cool inclusion to the deck. Uh, other than that, I mean, pretty standard stuff here. You got the Arceus Dialga Palkia, you swing for 30 more, and you get to accelerate energy if you feel like attacking with it. And with Alter Creation, like I said, you do 30 more damage, and you can also take one more prize card if you have a double dragon attached to it which counts as a metal and a water energy. So pretty good stuff here by Justin. Um, uh, I think we're going to play a game or two with it. Yeah, let's check it out. Let's see what happens. So, yeah. We're going to run a game here. And, um, yeah, I like the list a lot. Um, it seems pretty stout. So we're up against a Psychic, Dragon, and Steel deck. What is Psychic, Dragon, and Steel? I don't know. We'll see. Start with a solid mulligan here. Pretty good, pretty good. But, um, yeah, so let's see what happens. All right, so we're, we're going to be kicking off with some gasoline here. I think he's going first. I can't remember. Pretty bad. Start the pseudo Udo, limit their bench to four. Um, pseudo Udo, Jirachi, 
All right, so apparently we're playing Malamar. Old school or new school? I don't know. Does he even run expanded cards? So my opponent is starting, I guess, the way you want to with Malamar. Uh, get multiple NKs out on the field. And start putting psychics in the discard. That's pretty good. Gonna be grabbing the Ultra Ball here. So yeah, he does run expanded cards. <laughs> I'd hope so. Expanded. I'm guessing my opponent is playing Ultra Necrozma Malamar. Would make a ton of sense. Not really a deck you see played and expanded um, Malamar. Oh, I lied. It's definitely Latios. <laughs> Latios and Latios. GX. But yes, Malamar is not a deck you see in Expanded. All too much. What's my opponent going to do here? Going to stick a more. Pretty good start by my opponent, I think. Uh, let's see if we can capitalize on our turn. All right. Um, we're going to go ahead and I guess... I guess we can trainer's mail. Battle compressor sounds pretty right yeah battle compressor sounds good uh we'll go ahead and attach the dragon and we will i don't want to discard it dragon So I think I'll just end this turn just to save that double dragon. Um, sounds pretty reasonable to me. We'll just end this turn, I think. Then go ahead, play it. Ooh, that's not good. Not really, at least. Go ahead and trainer's mail. Oh, we do hit the nest ball. That's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. All right, here we go. So, nest ball. I think we're going to probably put an ADP down. All right. We don't really need too much. We really just needed one energy. Um. There's not really can't really do a whole lot because I end that turn. You might can knock it out next turn. You know what? It's fine. Well, fabled fire bolts. Get rid of one. Can't put fire. Okay. So if he knocks me out next turn, which I don't think he will. Uh, we'll just flip heads. Sounds about right. We'll flip heads on this OOEX rebirth. Let's see what happens. I know he's going for a Malamar. Well, he could knock me out. Well. 
He needs a lot. He needs a choice band, a float choice band, float stone, and another Malamar. Or an escape board. Actually, yeah, that's it. Oh, where's the choice band? Needs to find a choice band. In there, like swim. Get there. Serious treasure. I think my opponent's going to try and probably get an Inke, another one. Um, if he had the choice band, he would have slapped it down already. I don't know, he's going to set up another Malamar, which. That's five. All right, so he's going to use the GX attack here, I think, because he's not going to get the knockout. Nope. He's just going for 240. I don't really agree with that. Um... Uh, so let's just flip heads here. Oh, we don't. That kind of. All right. Mike could get another one in this car. I'm going to have to end here anyway, because I have no real outs. Let's go ahead and end. All right. Cool, so we got another one of those guys, and what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to computer cert, well, let's trainer's mail first. Grab the battle compressor. Probably get rid of that. I don't have Coco. Coco is prize. That always happens to me. And more energy. Oh, I don't really need that. I got max numbers. So we'll go ahead and pop him. Let me get rid of the electric. All right. So, those two, probably grab a Shaman, set up more, and let's see, let's see what we get off Shaman, four, five, full card, by the Max Elixir, figured we were going to hit it, uh, I'm just going to discard it anyway. I probably shouldn't leave this guy in the active, but it's okay. I think I think we'll be all right. I think we're gonna just those fabled firebolt. One, two, three. Yeah, there we go. So what I didn't know and part because I just started playing this deck today uh, is you can only do you can only do um, discard three up to three I didn't know that I thought it was whatever which I mean doesn't make a difference but it can when something plays fighting fury belt you're capped at 270 with choice band you're capped at 300 so like a 270 tag team will do and just leap over it with the 310. And that's kind of, kind of sucks that you're going to be 10 short, but 
I mean, 270 is nothing to scoff at. Just one attachment and then accelerate ho-ohs, like, that should be your game plan. And if we'd have been able to get the Alter Creation GX up, we could have done more. Alright, so we're going to lose this guy. Pretty unfortunate. Um... But I think we can still recover. We'll just slap the cocoa down. We got how many? We got two electrics. So we slap the cocoa down, attach a double dragon to him, and then go look for a. Look for an energy. I probably should have. No, he put that escape board. That wouldn't have mattered. No, we don't look for an energy. We look for a float stone. I think we got all of our float stones. We run three. We should hit one. I'm just going to grab a Dedene. We should win this game. I think he already used Psychic Reach. Yeah. Wait. How did he... Did he play a Max Elixir? Oh, he did. Alright, so we should win right here. Maybe I don't really need to reach that much, because I just need... No, I do. If we top deck the float stone, it's over. We'll see what happens. All right. And should have draw support deck. And advance the ancient. To. That I think we should. I imagine we'll find we've been throwing Ultra Ball out to ten. All right, how many versus seekers? Two. And I have a Juniper, just in case. There we go. So we get the Float Stone, attach the Float Stone, three Fabled Fire Bolt, and there you have it. That is Rushy Wrong. Um, like I said, pretty stout, ugh, pretty stout list. Um, it got Justin Coolis. Um, take a look at this one more time. It got Justin Coolest top 64. Pretty solid performance with a deck that was kind of talked about, but not really the focal point of the tournament, I should say. Um, but pretty overall, pretty good list. Like I said, swing with this guy as hard as you can up to 270. You know, that's enough to one shot anything in the format just about um it paired with that you're doing you're doing 300 total so pretty good pretty good i like the list a lot um 
thanks again uh i don't normally do these deck profile videos i uh, thought i'd try it out let me know in the comments what you guys think about them if i should do them more often uh if i shouldn't um it's up to y'all just let me know um hopefully we're gonna have some good interviews out later uh this week i'm pretty excited about that and if you are going to collinsville also let me know in the comment section below because i would like to meet every single person who watches these videos if you're going to college so i'd love to see you um as always all my plugs will be in the link in the description below also at the top of the screen you can always find me there and don't be afraid to say hi so yeah that's that's all we got today this is steven maxwell from the flow t cast and as always peace